How many of us grew up with the haunting fear of getting lost and being left alone? You know, you're a kid in the supermarket. There you are, wandering over mammy in the baskets. Yeah. Don't leave me. God is with us, we're no longer alone. There was a famous gang that leader called Vicky Crows that some of us will have read the book of uh, in New York in the 60s. And uh, that was a guy who was a bad guy. He was a gang leader and he killed people. And yeah, I sort of think got a basic picture. A guy called David Wilkerson, a young minister, went there with a heart to do something for God. And he was a very, very traditional, sort of churchy type person. And he got something with these, these gangs. And this guy, amongst others, became a Christian. Nicky Crows wrote the book. Most people have read Crossing the Switchblade, but not many people know about the book called Lonely, but Never Alone which goes through the whole analysis of where this guy was coming from psychologically when he was getting into all these gangs and how the essential loneliness at the bottom of him led to his wanting to be involved in all these things and how that changed when God came to be with him so that yeah, some days he'd be lonely but he was never alone and that thing in his heart had driven him down such a self-destructive sociopathic way of dealing with that personal loneliness was met with as Christ came to be with him. No more alone. Mm. So there you are, as a small child, you're out in the supermarket with your mum and you're walking around hanging. Did you used to hang on to the basket? I used to hang on to the basket. You couldn't do that now. They've done something with the wheels on the trolleys. Have you noticed? So you hang on to the basket now, you get an electric shock. I don't know what they've done with these trolleys. But, you know, if you go to the supermarket, hanging on the basket, and then it comes a day when something of mum's business in a bargain, and over there there's something far more exciting, you know, something bright and shiny, and you'd love to have one of those, and you sort of... And all of a sudden you find yourself lost. A little child running down the aisles with tears streaming down your face, and there's that fear of being alone, I'm alone in the world, and it's not a safe place! Still makes a hair on the back of your neck stand up, doesn't it? Mine's, mine's gone back now, actually. <laughs> Scary prospect for a little fella. Now, we live in a society that increasingly, that fear of being alone is becoming more and more and more a reality for people. Because we live in a society of increasingly ruptured fundamental relationships. Because of divorce, because of distance with the geographical mobility of labour, because of disappointment with one another. Increasingly, we live in a society where people are finding themselves alone. Did anybody hear the, the Radio 4 appeal today? Did you hear that? Uh, it was that, that grumpy old man from that programme on the telly, which I can't remember. Um, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Victor Meldrew. That's it. Back there now. Victor Meldrew. And he was making an appeal for a charity for lonely elderly people. Oh, well, they find themselves on their own. And do you know what this charity does? It's very simple, very straightforward. It's a great idea. Once a month, a, a, an elderly, alone person gets invited for Sunday tea in somebody's house. Right? Now, you think, it's not a lot, is it? But then to hear what the people who've been part of that were saying about it, you begin to realise how much of pressure, lonely and old, is for a lot of people. God with us means we're not going to be alone. Now there's more to it than that, because that puts you in fellowship, that puts you in families, doesn't it? You know, God's a father for the fatherless, and he puts the orphans in families, doesn't he? And then, as a Christian, you, 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 God, you become part of the church. Emily was telling me about the church she's found down in, where are you? Exeter. In the flooded zone, down there somewhere. In the southwest, okay? And, uh, you know, fantastic. She says, great, because they talk to you, and they're nice to you, you know? Yeah, why not? The loneliness is banished by the communities that God creates and so on and so on. So it's a problem we know, it's a problem we know about this loneliness. God with you is there to deal with that. But there's a far deeper source of a quiet, uneasy, fundamental loneliness at the heart of our society than, than just that. Because here we are living in a world that cries out for there to be a creator. Cries out for there to be somebody there. But so many of us have found ourselves cut off from him. Um, <clears throat> CERN, big thing on the telly, on radio or something again this week. Couldn't have been the telly. It must have been the radio in the car probably driving somewhere. Uh, 
and people are getting from, from CERN, the laboratory of CERN, and they, they, there's this big search going on for the Higgs boson, right? Now, which I understand, like I understand the inner workings of a Formula One racing engine, right? I don't understand it, but I have an idea. This is the key they're looking for to support current models of the world, the universe, and everything. They're looking for this key issue. And we're actually stuck here, you know, waiting for Godo sort of thing. In a world centred on a core person who seems to be missing. They're looking for the God particle, but actually, the one who holds it together for us is God with us. Emmanuel. Our hope of glory. Very famously, somebody said a long time ago, you made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they find their rest in you. Is that empty alone? And God with us changes that. When God comes to be with us, that's changed. The relationship is restored and the little child lost is now saved and found and protected and God with us is the one who makes the change. God with us impacts that fundamental issue we've got in our society and is a big one and it's costing society quite a lot as well as individuals quite